Hello everyone, this is Lee. Yeah, I had an incident with a police officer the other day when I was Uber driving. Basically, I went into a spot I guess you're not supposed to go into where buses were dropping off people, but there were other people in there. I didn't really even notice the sign. I got the ping, I went in, um, and there was a yellow sidewalk, so I parked on the side of the yellow sidewalk, called my guy, the, my client that I was supposed to pick up. He went and got in the car, and I started to drive off, and then this police officer was there. He's like, stop, stop, stop. I was like, okay, dude, I'm like, stop. I probably should have just kept going, I don't know. That's probably the smartest thing to do. It was interesting to, all right, this guy's an authority figure. Got to obey him, right? We got to follow his commands because he's an authority figure. Uh, so I rolled down my window. He wants my ID. I don't know if technically in California you have to hand them your ID. He wanted it, you know, to take hold of it, take possession of my ID so that I was locked down. And then he, he disappeared to, I gave him my ID. Um, he disappeared to another guy that came in. He was, he grabbed his ID too. And he called He basically the other guy got out of his car and he was talking, he was saying like, you know, I didn't notice the sign. There's other people here saying basically same stuff I was thinking. And the police officer's like, oh, there's a sign there. And we're like, really where? And, um, you know, at this time I had gotten out of my car too, to see what's going on. We're kind of like, this guy's like, just kind of, it, the energy was super negative right away. Like it, even the guy that my passenger, I was like, you want me to cancel the ride? Um, I don't know how long this is going to take. And he's like, no, no, I want to find out what this is about. So. Um, I went back to the police officer and he basically just was chewing us out, like just like disciplinary style, punishing us with his negative energy and holding on to our IDs. And we, you know, we're like, the signage should be improved if, cause he was saying, this is always an issue. He's always going after Uber and Lyft drivers doing this. And it's like, if it's such an issue, they need to fix the signage. And it, that's an easy fix instead of, a police officer, dis like by him stopping, he stopped us in the middle of like a flow. So it, even if <laughs> we weren't disrupting things at all, but because he did stop us in an area, like as I was pulling it like out, that was more disruptive than what we were actually doing, which was not disruptive at all. It was like perfect. There's plenty of amounts of space. There was no, not a lot of people there. It was a perfect spot for Uber, a uh, Lyft driver to pick somebody up from the bus station. But his, that was, I guess his thing to be there, um, to chew people out for doing it. You know, I thought I was gonna get a ticket or something like that. Um, I was like, you know, can we, can you hurry up? <laughs> I didn't say that, but I was like thinking, can I hurry up and get this ticket because I just need to get out of here. I got a client in the car, I don't want him waiting. But he just wanted to yell at us. He gave us our IDs back and let us go. And as I was leaving, I was like, there's another car right there. Um, he's like, that's my car. And I was like, what? It's not an official police vehicle. There was no exempt plates. It didn't make sense to me, I mean, if he was on official duty, I mean, he had his uniform on and his gun and everything. I don't know if that's something he's just, that's the thing. You never know if people are just dressed up really snappy. Maybe it's a bus driver that didn't want Uber drivers there because we're cutting into, it could just be a security guard. He didn't see, show us any badge or anything. Probably wasn't even a cop. That's, that's the thing. You don't know, but he was dressed. He had a gun. He had everything, you know, maybe it was a fake gun. Who knows? But like he had everything and he was like talking in an authoritative voice and trying to control us. It was intense and uh, yes, so I really feel this leads me to my solution to the problem. I feel like law enforcement, and this isn't a perfect well thought out solution, but it's just a brainstorming idea. Law, for, law enforcement should have like some sort of camera that they're live streaming their point, their perspective. So today I can tune in to officer number 318. His status is doing uh, part or doing traffic stops or something like that. And I get to tune into his stream to see what he's doing. If he's like eating donuts or whatever, you know, I could give him a thumbs down or something like that, because it's my understanding that as a taxpayer, we're paying for the salaries of these people that are supposed to protect us from, I'm, I would like as much protection as possible. Um, you know, especially as I become more wealthy and if you're a wealthy individual, I'm sure you want lots of protection too. Who doesn't want extra protection, free security? That's, it's not free security. We're paying for it. And I would like that security to give me peace of mind that I'm safe to, to be here and to exist and to, you know, be a human being. So that's my idea, you know, live streaming police officers. There's gotta be other ways too, that these guys can be held to accountability. Like 
how can I see your bet? What do you do? Ask him. To, we're not educated on this in school. What they don't, they don't teach us shit in school. They really don't teach us things that are valuable in school. You know, like the basics of it, of thinking, I guess, and conformity. But yeah, that's my. Those are my thoughts on police officers. Feel free to comment and. E Obviously, this is probably not going to happen, but it could. Who knows?